hate crime? Say what? Yeah, they're going there. Headline out of CBC News, Ottawa. Ottawa police setting up hate crime hotline after reports of assaults, threats. Police also investigating bribery of city worker. Supported by Kimberly Molina, January 31st, 2022. Anyway, folks, before I even read this article, I really feel it's important to stress this kind of thing out because I've been watching not just what's taking place in Canada, but I've been paying astute attention what's taking place down south in the U.S. as it pertains to some of these provocateurs or groups like Antiva who will take advantage of things like this and actually be the ones out there doing some of these things so as to turn the population against these fine truckers and their many supporters. Similar things took place during the G20 meetings and protests many years ago. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears close to the ground, folks, because you just know there are some bad actors out there who are hell-bent in trying to turn the Canadian people against the truckers and their supporters. Ottawa's police chief says the service is launching a hate crime hotline to investigate crimes related to the demonstrations that have taken over much of the city's downtown core and which are dragging into a fifth day. Police Chief Peter Slowly, Mayor Jim Watson, and city councillors have spoken out about various reports of hate-fueled violence over the weekend, including intimidation and harassment by protesters as thousands flood the nation's capital. We have the intelligence officers and the investigative officers and multi-jurisdictional support from British Columbia to St. John's, from Nunavut to the GTA, Slowly said in a news conference Monday afternoon. No matter where you live, no matter where your vehicle's registered, if you've come here and committed a crime, if you have committed a hate crime, you will be investigated. We will look for you. We will charge you. If necessary, we will arrest you and we will pursue prosecutions against you. Residents and organizations across the downtown have complained to city councillors, media organizations, and on social media about hate-related threats. A homeless shelter, the Shepherd of Good Hope, says a client and security guard were assaulted on the weekend with racial slurs yelled at the guard by two people who were identified as part of the protest. A Confederate flag, swastika, and yellow stars have been seen at different times throughout the protest. Somerset Ward Councilor Catherine McKinney says they heard from people who have been yelled at and harassed, including a young couple who had a pride flag in their window. Protesters yelled at the couple who later discovered someone had defecated outside their door, according to McKinney. The harassment was so bad, police were called and the couple had to leave their apartment to stay with friends until it's safe for them to return, McKinney told CBC News. Anyways, folks, you know how they're going to play this out, right? But at the very least, what we're seeing is there is no direct evidence to suggest that whoever did these acts, if these acts actually did take place, were the organizers or even people who were part of the protest. I mean, they're, that's the thing. It's a city. It's Ottawa. Pretty big place. All kinds of people could have come out to do these things that generally had no part in that convoy. And when you look at the amount of numbers of trucks and people down there, even if these few examples of some bad apples do turn out to be supporters of the truck and convoy or people there who are part of the convoy, once again, you cannot use single one-off examples of bad actors doing bad things and try to taint an entire movement of peaceful, freedom-loving Canadians in such a negative way because of those acts. We are all individuals and we're all responsible for our own actions, not those of others. That's something all of us should come to understand as adults. I'll place a link to this article in the description of the video below. Moving on to the next one. It's Canadian Libertarian and I love liberty.